Oh, she talks again? <laughs> you told you the bitch is back. Last episode. She was slacking. So, welcome to Pot and Us. What up, what up? It's your boy Joe Grizz. Steph Vibes. Fly guy. I'm 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 Joe Grizzly, bitch. Fly 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 guy the power pilot. Steph. 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 <laughs> no, it's because I'm I'm hooked up into the. That's why oh, you heard it. We're doing new things technologically up over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Advancing. Period. Because it's uh, we're in a new month. It's July now. More than halfway through the year. That was yeah. Chocolate Bay. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Hey, babe. He all bl- <laughs> he all blushing. I, I, I can't answer the phone. I'm a quarter. <laughs> Good job. You just read the text. <laughs> wow. It ain't like she's going to watch this shit. She don't mm. watch no more. She don't support me no more. Watch, watch you. She don't call you as soon as she see it. <laughs> <laughs> she don't watch. She going to see this, though. And be watch, like, oh, word. <laughs> watch this be the episode. Watch this be the episode, bro. Thanks. This be the episode. Uh-uh. <laughs> Yo, she hasn't watched since, like, I don't know, maybe eight, nine episodes ago. She, she just gave up. She's like, oh, that's how I could see how people could fall off and fall behind because I, I missed one episode. She blames it because we'd be chilling. So her, back in the day, it was Saturday morning. That was her routine. she oh, wake up. Now you be with her Saturday morning. She'd be waking up, watching the pod. And then she'll hit me up after she watched it and say, oh, I saw the pod. But now I'm with her. So she's like, oh. I can't watch because you're with me. I'm like, you could always watch it. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> we want that view. <laughs> so basically, it's your fault. <laughs> I was going to say, she's yeah. blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how women do. <laughs> oh, man. That's how they do. They do something, then they blame you for it. Mm. Well, it's your fault because you did this. Because, you, because you decide to spend time with me, I can't watch. I just don't, <laughs> you know, you know. Shame on me. I'm one of those people that when people talk, I have like all these thoughts. Man. Yeah, you got <laughs> fucking ADDs. <laughs> That's what it is. No, because I started thinking of the topic and I'm like, where did I get that topic from? And actually remember now. Yeah, I was, I was having a conversation with David and. Um, Are you talking like that? Yeah, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, no, because I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, you came like, yo, I was having a conversation with David. <laughs> I was having a conversation with David. <laughs> wow. I was, I was with, I was with the. She just changed the. She word. Like, changed the. Uh-huh. She was never like this. Oh my God. He, 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 he broke Stephanie. <laughs> he broke. Word. She's all broken now. <laughs> now she's like a whole different person. Mm-hmm. It's a real nigga, bitch. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You real soft, nigga. Uh, what? You soft as shit. I'm, you no. soft as baby shit. No. <laughs> and you look you? like baby How shit. How dare you? <laughs> not funny. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted to say because I remember now, and it was actually really interesting. I was talking to my homegirl. I mean, we're at the Jersey City Arts Memorial Festival a few weeks ago. It was actually pretty cool. And on our way back, like we were walking to like the park or something. Okay. Real quick. Right. No scenic route. Get to the point. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to. I'm because I know how you do. I, I don't know how. You to... told me a three hour story to tell me that the lady on the bus couldn't smell. You got... No, we're not doing that today. <laughs> we're, we're on limited time. It's, it's, it's you got to get out of here. That's why I look so we, nice, y'all. Like, she don't look, look, she don't like, look nice. Like she looked gay as hell. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. So what happened? So I was with my friend. We were talking about. <laughs> We were talking about how there's so many. Hit that drop. <sighs> you lucky. Ha! Gay! <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, she and shit. I were talking about how we're strong women and like it's difficult to <laughs> find a. We've had this type of conversation. Strong women. <laughs> 
Sorry. But this is why the, this why this is why this topic came about. Uh-huh. Um, Some and women. she's like, she was throwing, she was talking about how you know she was on she was on a date and it was going well. And I think the guy, and she's not rude, she's very, very sweet. And she's a woman who like knows what she wants and all this stuff. And I guess the guy got intimidated by that. I, we didn't really know the answer. And she's like, it's so difficult to like find a guy to like stick around. And I'm like, you, you know, you're strong women. You just need a stronger man, right? We were talking about that. And then <laughs> so then I was I asked David, I said, how does a man crikey, look at that bear how does a man, in full hibernation? Two hours later. <laughs> how does a man how would a man handle like a you know strong woman? I've asked this a bunch of times, and he says. It's about the leader. Like, it's about the man's leadership qualities. It's like, it's like, if you trust him to lead, it doesn't really, everything else is, you know, secondary. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. That, that's what it is. Yeah. Here, but here I thought it was just the deed that would break him down. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well more if you want to get into that, the deed will change a bit. <laughs> it's more. It, it will change them. They, they a whole new creation once they get that deed. But it's, yep. it's with that, it comes more with like when he says like leadership, I'm like, oh, that's where that whole like respect thing and stuff comes from. Because it's like and we've said it before on the pod. Men don't respect women. Women don't respect men. They, people don't respect themselves. And, you know, that's a lot of things. But it's like when it comes to a man being an authoritative figure in like a relationship, for example, it's like or even not in a relationship, but teacher, uh, you know, with work. Do you feel like do you trust their leadership do you trust like you respect them you know what i mean because i'm like in a relationship like a romantic relationship it's like i could be strong but like i respect what you're saying i I like the way you lead whatever and it makes a person be able to submit better when it's a teacher it's like oh i I like the way you you know you talk to me you know and it's easy for me to be quote unquote submissive you know what i mean so that's how that whole topic came from fyi i just thought of it i remembered (laughs) Okay. <laughs> and that's the topic for today. <laughs> so, did they get that? <laughs> I, 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 I'm fucking lost. I'm, I'm still caught back like five minutes ago when she was rambling. We're sorry. No, Listen, because we I'm are still, sorry. I'm still catching up we're to the ramble. We try to get, I'm trying to get organized. So I like write the topics down, and I wrote a bunch of words. Okay, and- but the thing is. You ask questions, and then you keep going, so we can't answer. I needed a finish. You have, no, you have to. It's a conversation. It's not. Let me just vomit all the topics, or all the questions, oh. and then we go. Then they have to figure yeah. out what the fuck I said. You, you answer. Oh, these are all the no, questions. No, no. You gotta sift through the vomit. Hey, man. yo, you can't vomit everything and then expect us to remember everything you just fucking said. Men it's don't a, work that way. It's a fucking conversation. <laughs> it's a podcast. We've been doing this shit for almost almost a year now. So I ask a question and I pause. But yeah, then- it's a fucking conversation. You don't know how to converse with people. Yeah, then I gotta write it down because I'm gonna forget. That's what the fuck you do. No, I do. I write a lot of stuff down. I got a lot of notes. I got thousands. Like, of I really on. don't know what the fuck you just asked me. Like, I wish I could remind no, you. I, I, right I, no, I didn't ask yet. I <laughs> no, was, you were asking. The, 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 the thing I said was uh, I was trying to remember where I thought of the topic. Okay, right. but again, again, you just mad shit. I didn't ask you, anything. You just talk mad shit and you was asking questions in there. So when... How do we respond to I, I, I didn't technically. Ask, it was like a rhetorical question, though. Guy. It was. Please yeah. help me here. It was rhetorical. Was it? I don't know if you were starting a conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, or if you was. It, she does. She always does it. Joe was saying something. I was like, where did I was thinking? Where did I get this? OK, topic from? but you could say, oh, I was walking with my girl. And we were talking about this. And then you when you you yeah. ask topics, oh, do men da da da, whatever you said. Let us respond. Oh, well, I said I was asking. We were asking each other that. Oh, my God. Mm. I'm done. I'm done. Episode over. <laughs> Episode over. Because it wasn't. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Have a good night. No. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can say that's the topic, guys. That's the topic. So now I can ask the question. Because Literally nine minutes. Nine minutes in. Because four minutes was arguing with me about it. No, that was only like fucking a minute and a half right now. <laughs> what? Okay, so seven and a half minutes of you talking and us not knowing what the fuck you said. No, because that soliloquy. No, the first three madness. minutes. We had we had a conversation for the first three minutes too. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so it was more like four. God. More damn. like four minutes. More no, like it wasn't. Minutes. Yes, it was. No, it's more like two. <laughs> damn long. <laughs> Word. <Yeah. laughs> Holy shit. So um I told you shortcuts, not fucking scenic routes. 
you know, I, I tell a lot of stories and I have to learn how no. to cut it down. Yeah, you do. I'm, you, I'm working on it. Yeah. Cliff notes. I'm working on it. You're not. I try. I'm forcing myself. It's hard. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> so I, I, I literally said this shit the other day, like, all right, you got to make it more conversation. You know what I mean? Yep. Slow down. More talking. You, you know what you can tell me? Interacting. Shut the fuck up. No, no. That? Basically. Key, that would work? No, a keyword. <laughs> a keyword. Yeah. Summar- shut the fuck up. Summarize. Summarize. No, 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 no. My keyword is shut the fuck up. No, because then I'm like, wait, what do I say? I got to... Uh, I gotta like. I would never say summarize. Sounds summarize. like a personal problem. Summarize. I'm, I'm Joe Grizzly, bitch. <laughs> say summarize, bitch. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No. So today's topic. Okay. Is... So now, before they get butt hurt, I wasn't calling her a bitch. That's my there drop. That's it. And I say five, 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 five bitch. Too. Yeah, but they're gonna be like, oh, he calls her a bitch. <laughs> you know they're gonna do it. You know that. Yep. <laughs> Right, you got you got to cover his ass because you're right. We this this is all people get hurt. It's all YouTube banter gets here. Hurt. It's just banter here. So, Fucking assholes, but yeah, yeah. So on this podcast, we're so basically authority and submission and submission and what else? Leadership. Okay, leadership and inferiority complexes. And fuck that one, but uh, we throw that in. No, no. Oh, it's toward the end. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. I don't have one of those, so I don't give a fuck about it. Word. Do you know people who do? Yeah. <laughs> My um, old boss. Ooh, talk about it, Joe. Wait, do you, is this one of those things you can't talk about because they listen? Hell no, he don't listen. <laughs> that fucking guy, he don't follow me. He blocked me. I blocked him. He blocked you, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? This, no, this is when I worked in the mailroom. <laughs> I'll say his fucking name too. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he sees me walk around in Jersey City. He puts his fucking head down because he knows I'll slap the fucking taste out of his mouth. What? He's a bitch. What happened? Woo! But and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I, I threatened oh. him plenty of times oh, in the workplace. Well, well, what was his authority and leadership like? <laughs> uh, he was like a little fucking Nazi in the mailroom. Him. In the fucking mail room? In the mail room. <laughs> well, well, no, we called him Napoleon because he was short as fuck. That maybe that's why. He was like 5'1. Well, and they so say we, that's a complex too. Yeah, the <laughs> Napoleon complex. <laughs> I said that. That's why we called him Napoleon. And then, as a matter of fact, I'll call Kyle in a minute so he could tell you about him. Um, and then we had another, he was like the supervisor. And then we had the manager and we called him Hitler. The both of them was bad. Yeah, yeah, they were bad. <laughs> Damn, they were bad. And then they, it, all right. So it got to a point when I worked in the mailroom. Um, like, that was loud. Well, that was loud as fuck. <laughs> Shit, um, my bad. So when I worked in the mailroom, we had the manager. When I got there, um, was cool as hell, right? Um, and then there was the supervisor who was the little Napoleon piece of shit. And he, they try to say he didn't, but I know he got the manager fired. Right. Right. I'm like still cool with that manager to this day. Like that's my dude. So, um, he got him fired cause we were playing fucking fantasy football and the manager, you know, we we was we was into it. Yep. And we was like yelling and cursing and, and but it was all you know and fun. Of course. And he it's was like guy talk. Yeah. Barbershop shit type. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the supervisor, let's call him dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, say, Can call him that's Napoleon? a good name. They call him Napoleon? <laughs> nah, dumbass fits better. So dumbass was sitting there with his arms crossed. <laughs> And he was shaking his head in the condescending, you know, fashion. And then a couple of days later, we got like the regional manager, the, all the fucking different managers in there. All and, the suits came through. Yeah. And then the fucking, the man, our manager uh, got fired. Damn. So, Why? and then Damn. They, 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 they tried to say it was, they tried to tell us it was like him being, um, tardy and some st- shit to do with like his work performance, which was bullshit. Because literally, like ten minutes later, they had a fax come through from HR 
that we all had a sign that we could not play fantasy football on the computer in the workplace. So, yeah, <laughs> okay. I don't believe your bullshit about why he got fired. Mm-hmm. Y'all could have painted that picture, but that's not the real reason. Right. But, yeah, no. So, so and then I got stuck in this fucking workplace with this fucking guy who's on a power trip because he's a supervisor. And he thinks that 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 made him somebody. Yeah. And it's a mail room. <laughs> it's a mail room. We're like the lowest fucking department <laughs> in the fucking building. The whole building. <laughs> like literally maintenance is above us. They get paid more than us. Yeah. Maintenance is above oh, us. My because God. mind you, the mail room was outsourced to a third party company. That's how low it was. So maintenance was employed by the building so yeah we were lower than were you below the were you below the maintenance this floor too no like physically in the building <laughs> we were literally on the like second floor oh okay okay but and they were on the bottom they had to be but, he took his job seriously joe nah fuck that yo. <laughs> it, it was too much so yeah I, I threatened him a couple times and it's just he was not a leader he wasn't when you when you're in a position where you're a supervisor or a manager or something of that nature, when you have you have authority over somebody, you have to know how to lead people, right? You can't you can't you can't sit there and bark orders. Right. You have to lead them. Right. Right. Show me how to do it. Show me. Give me an example to yeah. follow. Don't bark orders at me. Yeah. Well, you know there are I mean? different leadership uh, styles, but even yeah. though those styles but, are still but, a way but to do it. barking orders is yeah, never no. going to It's not one of them. It's never going to be productive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's going to lead to a lot of frustration, a lot of um what's the word I'm looking for? Um disputes, insubordination. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> but I was going to say like resistance. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a lot of resistance. Yeah. You know I mean like I mean, because they're also if, because, if you're going to tell somebody. Do so something, when, when 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 the, the manager that was there, we're gonna call him A. All right? <laughs> and dumbass. <laughs> we're gonna call him A. A hole. No, 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 no. He's cool. Not oh, oh, cool. oh, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Skino. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now nah, he cool. He was cool as fuck. Mm-hmm. To this day, I got nothing but love for him. I talked to him not, like not too long ago. Um, when he was there. Like, yeah, he would, he would, he would, he was the manager, right? He would tell us what to do. You know what I mean? But he was also cool with us. He knew how to lead us without coming down on us all the time. Right. You know what I mean? Like, he was fun. He he made the he made the job fun. And then we got dumbass over there that made everything fucking miserable. <laughs> Because, like, real talk, like, you could see it in him. He was miserable. Yeah. And they say misery loves company. So mm-hmm. it was a reflection of what he really was feeling. Mm. So since he was fucking miserable, he wanted to make everybody else miserable. Of course. So I remember a story of one. Um, 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 he would, one of the guys in, in the next department over, like, we were cool with that department. We were cool with everybody in there, right? The mail crew was cool with that that whole department. We used to go over there, like kind of escape the mail room and go over there and kick it for a little bit. And so one of the one of the, the guys in, in, in the leadership position over there, manager position, he asked dumbass. He was like, hey yo, why why do you like treat those guys like that? Some, like they pretty cool. <laughs> like, why are you the asshole sometimes? He's like, eh, because I wanna. That was his response. So yeah, you're, yeah, you're really you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, he's really an asshole. Like, yeah. He set out to be one, and he did it. Then he got off on being one too. Like, I guess so. Like I don't know. There's no reason. Through. There's no reason for it. He went home satisfied with himself for making our life miserable. I guess I could see no other like reason to do that shit. Yeah. Like we was we was, bro. Like the regional man. One of the suits that came over, and it was. They would come periodically and talk to us or whatever. The higher up, one of the higher up suits was like, yo, this mailroom is one of the, the most productive in the tri-state area. Wow. That's you got, you guys do your shit. Yeah. 
there was just so much fucking petty drama because of dumbass. Mm. Because he didn't know how to talk to people. He didn't know how to lead us. He didn't know how to, like, bro, we're working. And if, as long as we're getting our work done, leave us the fuck alone, yeah. right? We joking around amongst ourselves, but we getting that work done. What's the problem? But yeah. he didn't like to see us laugh. He didn't like to see us enjoying ourselves. And it's not like it's an officer. Like, are bro, in like that's <laughs> he wanted in. That shit was like a fucking a concentration camp. Maybe he was bro. jealous because you guys were close with each other. Nah, but see, then that's the thing. Like there were times where we were like, you know what? Let's get in the benefit of that. Let's go chill with him. Oh, you even tried that? Okay. We went out. We went to Hoboken with him. Hang out with us, friend. We, we went <laughs> like, yo, we went to Hoboken. We drank with him. We had fun. He was cool as fuck when he was out with us, right? We wound up going back to his his um, apartment. He had mad liquor, and we sitting there drinking. And then I was drunk. <laughs> Gary was drunk. Mm. So we were sitting in his kitchen. And I remember this shit clearly. I was sitting like on the windowsill. Oh, shit. Gary sitting in the chair, and he was standing by the fridge. And then I was like, hey, yo, dumbass. I didn't say dumbass. I said his name, but I don't want to <laughs> I was say like, that would be great. <laughs> I said, hey, yo. No, but this is what I said. I said, hey, dumbass. Insert name there. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, he's like, what's up? I said, can I ask you a question? He's like, what up? I said, yo, why the, why the fuck is you cool as fuck with us out here? But at work, you just an asshole. And I, and I, and I phrased it just like that. And he goes, and then Gary's like, yeah, bro, because at work, you a fucking asshole. Mm. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I don't want, I don't want, like, guys to misconstrue my, my authority and take advantage of me. And that's when I told him, I said, bro, see, that, that proves that you don't know what you're doing because if, if you gain our respect, we'll go above and beyond to get the work done and to work for you. Right. And uh, the way he treated you outside was the same way he treated you inside. It would, you would still, it would be cool. Right. Like on numerous occasions, we tried to hang out with this guy and try to give him a chance to loosen the fuck up with us and, and be part of the crew type of thing at work. He didn't want that. He wanted to crack the whip and be like, no, do this, do this, do this. Yeah. So there was a couple of occasions where I said, yo, crack that whip too. I'm going to crack your fucking jaw. On a couple of occasions, I threatened him. So, but yeah, it, 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 it's all about how you fucking talk. Yeah, I mean, that's like, I know at work, at my job at least, like, I have a really good relationship with my boss, like, professionally. And, and, and like personally, it's, sometimes it's hard to kind of mix. You can't, in a lot of places, you can't really mix the two because they'd be like, no, you, got, you know, you got to separate it. But because she and I have such a good personal relationship, like we have so much more respect for each other professionally. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. there was a time when I, I fucked up royally at work and, you know, she was upset. She didn't curse at me and she wasn't like demeaning. It wasn't demeaning, nothing demeaning or, you know, she didn't disrespect me. But I think she felt like she was very firm. And I then I just took it. I'm like, shit, I fucked up, you know? She's like, you know, Steph, that, you know, it's not okay. And, you know, you gotta do better. And I'm like, I gotta eat that. I fucked up. Then and the next okay. day, she apologized. And she's like, you know, I'm so sorry if I, you know, <laughs> what? You said eat that. <laughs> the next day, and I wasn't even upset about the way she said, you know, because like I said, it wasn't anything bad. And then, but the next day, shut up. The next day, she um, you <sighs> just really just walking into that one. Yeah, you, you know I'm, exactly what we're thinking. And now, about. I, I'm like, God, I got you get it. But the next day, she uh, <laughs> the next day she apologized to me. She's like, oh, you know, so I want to apologize for the way I spoke. To. I was like, wait, what? She's like, oh no, I know I came at you. I'm Shit, like, I wish. And I was like, no, like I said, no, I fucked up. You know, I fucked up and. You know, you were stern and I and, and I get it. I, I know I fucked up. You weren't, you know, you weren't rude or disrespectful or anything. She's like, oh no, you know, I just I I I was upset. I'm like, you know, you're fine. I'm also not fucking soft. I'm not soft. That's baby shit. Not soft. But um, she's like, you know, I and, and the reason S A W F T. Soft. Got a boom, Brit guys in the room. How you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> but but I told her, I even said I was like, you know, I know, I know who you are. Like that was a great reference. I said, uh 
because the, like you said, you know how you hung out with your with your the old dumbass, whatever. Like yeah, dumbass, see, old dumbass. You see the way he was outside. I was like, I know, I know her. Like I got to know her, so I'm like the because of the way she came at me, I'm like, oh, she's not being a bitch. She's not being, I'm like, no, nah, that's, I, I got it. But some people, if they didn't know the person, like I know a couple of people that they don't like know her like that. And one guy was like, I don't like the way she talks. And I'm like, what? Like, no, like she's, you know, she's cool. But even like when you say the leadership stuff, I'm like, when she tells me to do something, or let's say like she takes responsibility for her stuff. And that helps me even to make, make sure I take responsibility for mine. She's not one of those, She's not necessarily like a delegator because there's some people who need like show me how to do it like so I can do it too. I don't really need that all the time, but she's not that type of person. She's like, you have to kind of figure it out because I don't really know how, but I know you'll figure it out. She's more of a let me tell you what I need to get done and not in a bossy way, you know, but I know like that's something you said, show me how to do it. And so I can do it too. But is that the way you uh, is that the best way you receive leadership? Well, that's how leadership is supposed to be. It's supposed it's leadership. You're supposed to lead them. You're not supposed to like fucking uh, 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 tell them like all right. There's but there's different styles of it. Is what I mean. Yeah, but like that barking order shit. Yeah, no, that's not that, that boot camp shit. That drill sergeant shit don't work. Right. Because there's ways. It, like I said, it's gonna lead to resistance. Right. Like yeah, it might. Let's say it work for a, a brief moment in time. But there's gonna be a time when that person gonna be like, "Yo, fuck you, yo!" Like I'm tired of your shit. Yeah. Yep. But like you said, when you said like the barking orders, no. But I know maybe, and maybe it's also the field or what kind of thing that you're in. Like uh-huh. for my boss, it's to, to not most things she can't delegate to me because it's good. It's not her forte. Right. But she'll be like, "Okay, I need this," and it's not like you know, it's not a bossy or barking. But that's why I say she can't really delegate those things to me. But like in your instance, you're working in the mail room and you're like, well, I need this stuff. Well, uh, nigga, show me no mail, when man. you were working in the mail room. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> when, you, when you were working in the mail room, that's more something that's more hands on. You're like, yo, okay, well, you got to show me. Yeah, how but to do even, it. even yeah, but not even like, okay, there's, there's well, you get trained with how to do shit, right? Like. There's, there's, Most jobs. Yeah. So what I'm saying, like in the mail room, you have like the accountables, which is like the FedEx and, and the UPS and all of that shit, right? That you got to scan. Right. And you have the pit. That's where like the snail mail, the USPS shit. And you got to like literally separate it and put it into the, the, the department uh, boxes. Right. And that's 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 it. Right. That's the two like the two different sections in the mail room. So you learn how to go through it, but once I learn how to do it, got it. I got it. Yeah, you know I mean, that's it. we know what the fuck we had to do, but he just had a fucking like this need to bark orders at people, like to feel make himself feel important, right? Like he's there for a reason, bro. <laughs> you you don't need to be here. It'll still function without you. Absolutely, there were days that he didn't come in, and it functioned better when he wasn't right. there. Why? Because we didn't have somebody barking orders. We knew what the fuck we had to do. And it was that simple. Yeah. It's, yeah, it depends a lot of... It, it depends, right. I'm going to call Colin. It oh. depends on a lot of your, like, this, like, the people you work with, too. It's like, you guys mesh well? Like, okay, it's cool. I know there was one time I had a boss pissed me off. She was older, like, baby boomer type older. And she would... I'm like, how the fuck? She would tell me all this shit to do. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it. But then it'd be like, how do I turn this into a PDF? I'm like, how the fuck are you? boss <laughs> how the fuck are you the boss what how are you getting paid the big bucks <laughs> you don't even want to fucking do this shit yeah. piss me off or it's like can you show me how to do this i'm like so i'm the one i'm getting paid this much money to do this and you're just sitting here just to review it you don't know how, it, how i even did this shit <laughs> piss me off well it's all about communication though like mm-hmm. when you're when you're a leader you got to be able to know your team and know how to communicate with them it's like managing personalities. Yeah, exactly. you're right. Yeah, absolutely. A so, lot of jobs now they make you take them tests. Well, those yeah, personality tests. I to guess, see. Yeah. but yeah, but you, that that doesn't really do it because mm-hmm. you just talk to your to right. your team, and then you'll kind of figure it out. Yeah. Well, Maybe I'm saying in more the beginning like it might be rough. When before, like when you, your hiring process is now, they'll be like, "Oh, fill this test." So it's not to say you're not hired or not, but it'll tell you like okay, this is the way this person receives things or how they are. That way you kind of know what okay, kind of we'll person. We'll take some tests seriously, though. Anybody could just I mean, answer whatever. Well, yeah, it'll be real. more like... Uh, 
Welcome back. We had some technical difficulties. <laughs> and because that just cut off. But we're back. And action. What were you saying, <laughs> stuff? No, guy was talking about uh yeah, you, the, you like, mentioned the test, and I was like, yeah, who takes that shit seriously? Yeah, but and uh but it was more on the not those not ass- <laughs> well, it's not more of those assessment tests, it would be more like the person you're hiring them are extrovert or introverted, or um are they more of a good thinker or they're a doer, you know, things like that. It's just to kind of gauge what kind of person you're bringing on the team. I mean, not to say how they will handle certain situations, but you know, things uh, like that. I don't, I don't fucking believe in those things. People could just answer whatever the fuck. They like want I to said, answer. based they on can, <laughs> people can answer how they think you want them to answer. Well, no, exactly. because there's to get hired. Well, like I, well, like I said, those aren't a, a situational questions or assessments. It's more like they just want to know about you. So it's like you can't be wrong if you're an introvert or extrovert. Teams need kind of both, you know. Everybody can't be an extrovert on a team. It's a whole lot of me. <laughs> you are. Right? A lot of we, extra. We, we have we have a problem dealing with you as it is. <laughs> but right. no, it's, it's it's good because you get to see, you know, what the different types of person that more like personalities, like you said, manage build but personalities. That's all well and good, all those papers and all this tests, but you know, how you do it, you talk to your team. You level with them and try to con- build with a, a connection and just building off what you said. That's how you, you know, gain camaraderie, you know, like you'll go the extra mile for the, for a leader that values you as an employee right. or as a person mm-hmm. and not just talking down to you, yo, do this, do that. You know what I mean? Or that- if you don't like it, go find another job. We're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm about to call Kyle. We got this new because thing, the chest new feature. I'm about to call my boy Kyle because he was there at the mailroom job with me. Mm. And uh, so we have a witness. Yes, we have a witness. <laughs> this is part of this history, folks. The first, Our first phone call. call. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Kyle Jones. What up? It's the pod squad. Here. Here. We are in pod mode. We are in pod mode. So don't say nothing that'll get me or you in trouble. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So we were just talking about like authority in the workplace and shit like that. And uh, I brought up uh, the mail room and a certain supervisor who, for this <laughs> podcast, we're going to call him dumbass. Okay. Okay. That'll so, work. <laughs> that'll work, right? It fit perfectly. Yeah. So I was telling them how we had, we had, when we got there, the manager that was there, A, was cool as shit, but he knew how to manage, right? But he was still cool with us. And then we had dumbass who wanted to be a little Napoleon and turn the shit into like a fucking concentration camp and, and take all the fun out of it. So what do you think was dumbass's problem? What was his deal? <laughs> um, I don't know what his problem was. He was a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the only way I could think about it because it's like you had somebody that wanted to be cool outside of work but wanted to be a dick. Oh, that's what you <laughs> told us that. <laughs> literally makes no fucking sense. Mm-hmm. You can't be too, they're like, oh, you're gonna fuck over everybody over. They're like, all right, let's go out to the party. No, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. yo, what the fuck? Yeah, Joe, like, Joe just told us know, about I this time. Yeah. give some ass a chance. Yep. Multiple I tried times. I to treat him like a human being. Yep. But I found this motherfucker wasn't. I don't know what the fuck he was from the devil or a robot. <laughs> a, fake, a fake soldier. But was was he still there when y'all when y'all left or did he so, quit? No, he was still there because he kissed it. Well, you know, he sucked dick to the top. He became the manager. Damn. Oh, he to the top of there ain't much, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like that that's what he wanted. He wanted to become manager. So when he got A fired. They brought in another guy who we're gonna call the frog because he looked like a frog. <laughs> what? <laughs> that that's what these are these are the nicknames. He looked like a frog. So we're gonna call him the frog. <laughs> and he came in as the interim 
interim manager. And he was supposed to like bridge us over to dumbass being the manager. And he came in there with the whole, oh, I know there's a lot of drama going on in here, but we can get past that. <laughs> and then, you know, he kind of like sat us down and had this meeting and in front of everybody, I said, listen, you could come in here with your Obama, yes, I can bullshit, <laughs> <laughs> but nobody's going to respect this man because he, he's a dumb, like he's a dumb man. He don't treat us right. Yeah. Nobody can respect him because of the way he treats us. So then from that day forward, it became, okay, plan B, these guys are not going to give in. Now we got to get rid of them. Oh my God, get a new batch. <laughs> no, no, then, then it was like, he, he came up with this thing that he started saying, well, there's like an element in the mailroom that we need to get rid of. Elements. The element was us. The element. <laughs> it was, it was the, the group, the main group. It was like seven of us. The wrestling faction. <laughs> and, and see, funny you said that because that's exactly what I did. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Now we started calling ourselves the element. <laughs> and that's hilarious. And then one by one, he started picking us off. That was systematic elimination. Absolutely. Oh no bullshit. Who left first? You went Kyle? No, none of We were like some of the, we were probably the two last ones at least. Yeah. The last of the Mohicans. And so, like, in a matter of from like April to November, seven of us gone. But in Damn. the February, I got I got into it with dumbass and I got suspended for three days. <laughs> right? No pay. Because he tried to talk to me some kind of way because there was a new manager there. And I said, listen, I don't know what your problem is, but I think you're trying to show out for the new manager. Why they do that to you, Joe? So he's like, what'd you say? And he started like, go home. I said, I ain't going home. I ain't do shit. I didn't yell at you. I didn't curse at you. I didn't disrespect you. I just you just I just spoke my mind. Like. You didn't like it. No, go home. I'm not going home. Yeah, I got called. Me up. I got called in the office. Was talking to the manager. He started bringing up old shit that had nothing to do with what happened that day. So then I jumped up on my chair. I said, "Yo, you fucking lying!" And because I jumped out the chair, they tried to say that I attacked him. <laughs> but he was on the other side of the fucking room. But whatever. So what the hell? that manager that came in for like she was there for like two weeks because. The frog was out with vertigo. Um, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, right. He's a dick. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she, she, she hit like put me on the game, and she was like, "Listen, yeah, we got yeah, shout out to Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. There was a woman in the whole mailroom with. Yeah, she dudes. was she was dope as fuck, and she put me on the game. And she was like, "Look, this is how they're gonna come at you. They're gonna do everything in their power to get you to react, so you can blow up, so they can fire you." Mm. You gotta, you gotta come at them. Don't come straight at them. Curveball. I said, all right, bet. So from that day forward, I changed my shit up. <laughs> and the funny, I should have been the first person out of there, and I was literally the last person to leave out of the group. You were playing it smart. Yeah. And so, Kyle, yeah, Kyle. I, don't the, I don't know who the fuck won that pool. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody better me being the last one to leave. So, and then he literally picked us off one by one. And then, so me being the smart ass I am, I created like um, a, a screensaver for my computer. Uh -oh. Well, actually it was a wallpaper. And it said the element it had this logo, <laughs> the element. Uh -huh. And it literally had each one of our names at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and, and every time one of us got fired, I put a red line through it. Oh my God, it's a game. <laughs> And I left it up for them to see it because I told them, I told them from the beginning, I said, I know what you're doing. You're trying to fire each one of us. You're trying mm -hmm. to get like, you're trying to get rid of the element. We're the element. Yeah. And it was like, no, what are you talking about? These conspiracy theories you're coming up with. You're, <laughs> you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. But everything I said came to pass. It happened. Wow. And then it was like right before, um, I don't know. Was you still there when, when, when they saw, when John saw it? Oh, I mean, when Frog saw it. <laughs> so I got a phone I, I left my computer screen on oh, but I locked it <laughs> so you could still see the wallpaper or whatever right but it was just locked you couldn't get into it and turn it off and fucking he saw it and he was like oh who put this up and he ran to go get his phone to take a picture to send to HR 
I mean, what was what was the, yeah, what was exactly. wrong with it really? It, exactly. It, it wasn't could, offensive. There was nothing nothing that was not safe for work on there. Like, hey, somebody knows how to use Photoshop. That's it. It's our names. <laughs> so, um, one of the girls that worked there, she called me. She goes, "Yo, Joe, he saw it," and I started laughing. I said, "Yo, here's my password. Change it." And she changed it. He came back and he was flipping out like, who oh, changed it? <laughs> <laughs> but I used to fuck with him a lot. There was a lot of funny shit that I used to do to him. But yeah, you know, like, like we literally had the nicknames Napoleon and Hitler. God damn. Yeah. It was bad. It was that was, and we 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 always, me and him and a bunch of the other ones that worked there, the element. We always say like that probably the best worst job ever. Word. Because we had so much fucking fun working with each other. Yeah. But these guys didn't know how to fucking lead us, didn't know how to be leaders, and they made it so fucking like like Yeah, it wasn't for no pa tanto, like they said. It was like, too we, much. It wasn't, it was, we, we, yeah, we, we, us. Like, yo, this was probably the easiest fucking job in the world, and they made it like it was rocket science. Honestly, <laughs> remember the day when no supervisor, no manager, for whatever reason, didn't show up, we still ran that shit like clockwork. Yep. You didn't need them. And I was I was telling them earlier how one of the higher ups, um, when he came in and he told us that we were probably one of the most efficient mail rooms in the tri-state area in the company, like with the company. And they had like a whole bunch of offices in New York and all of this shit. And we in Jersey City and we we had the like we had better like time and we managed it better. Yeah, we had, we did way more shit. And we did, we, we had a higher- That just shows you the quality of the team. That's it, you know what I mean? But everything went to that shit. That wasn't good enough. That should have been easy for the leadership. Yeah, yo, this is- this And yo, is real talk, we was getting shit pay doing that work. And we had to put up with so much shit for shit pay. Yeah, I literally was getting more from unemployment. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> There's a drop for that. But man, it, it was crazy, man. And I got to the point where I was literally the last one in there of the element. And there was like two or three people that I was cool with in there still. And then one day it was like, I was just sitting there and I was supposed to be doing return mail. And I stopped and I looked around the room and yo, no bullshit. You could fucking hear a pin drop. Damn. It was fucking dead silent. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. How the fuck did it go from what it used to be to this? It was like, and that's when I'm like, I'm done. Sick the I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get fired now. Because <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Because like, yo, it was a shitty job, but you could actually walk in. You see the you you happy to see. So it made the time. It made it an easier time to go by. And then, Word. yo. And just, I, this one, I had to just fuck it up because he hated people having fun. Yo, I got videos of when we used to wild the fuck out in that mailroom. We had so much fucking fun in there, cracking jokes, talking shit, but getting our work done. You know what I mean? Like, we, we have fun. Like, it is possible to talk and do the job at the same time. Especially the mailroom. Like, like it's the mailroom. No, you don't have clients coming in. No, but you should be you able know, to do that in any job. We freaking who can't reject. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a short story. That's what I'm like, yo, it was the damn military. Word. And just because you ain't make it there, don't try to use that shit over here. Word <laughs> up. He couldn't be all he could be anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he just wasn't enough, bro. He wasn't enough. He was he was like five foot one. That's like the yeah, easiest way. That, that should have been the easiest boss. Yeah, I'm like, yo, these niggas though, these Napoleon complexes. This shit gotta chill. <laughs> I'm like, niggas. yo, just because God shit it on your height, you don't got to use the little power you got. Your little power. Little power. <laughs> little power. It wasn't no real power. Like, yeah, he's a supervisor in the mail room. The mail room. I told him, like, we were literally like the lowest department in there. He was probably getting paid a whole lot. I told the maintenance got paid more than us. He was probably like, getting paid like $11 an hour himself. That was, that was a real insult, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thank you, Kyle. I always hated the fact that you, that you said we were the lowest niggas on the totem pole, but everybody noticed us. Yep. Like, yo, you know them days when we come in with 
for solidarity all wearing the same color, mm-hmm. how come that becomes the biggest fucking thing in the building? <laughs> okay, so what every every, every time every time somebody got fired. Have you crossed like, your name out? <laughs> no, 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 no. Every time somebody got fired, we would get together as a team, the male crew, and we're like, all right, we're gonna wear this color for su- such and such. So, like, all right, when when A got fired, we wore all black. All black shirts and black pants, everything black. Then when somebody else got fired, we wore orange shirts. When somebody else got fired, we wore yellow shirts. People noticed? And the whole building noticed this shit. The entire fucking building. Like, Remember, we, we even had fucking people taking pictures of us. What? Word. But th- that goes to show, like, yo, like, we was a team for real. And this dude just didn't know how to fucking lead us. And in, in the mail room. All right, you ain't gotta say the mail room. Well, no, it's to say it's, it's to say it's to say something very simple. If he can't manage that, like, or he doesn't have to manage, how is he gonna do? Like, how do you manage? You can't manage something small. How can you manage something bigger? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those he things. couldn't manage himself. He can't manage other people. Right. Oh yeah, he could manage paper and ink and shit. <laughs> yeah. But people, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> he, he let's just say he was not a leader of men. No, not at all. Not at all. I wouldn't follow that motherfucker to the damn store. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, Kyle. Yo, don't let you go. All right, y'all. All right, yo. Thank you, Kyle. Bye. Bye. For, for the check-in, bro. Word. Later. All right, bro. Peace. It's, it's interesting. Thank you, God. That was cool. It's interesting how you say like. Uh, you know, you mentioned before how, like, when it comes to bosses and leadership and all that stuff, um, some people just don't feel like valued. And I know you could probably segue your way into that, mm-hmm. but like, I was reading something on like LinkedIn. I was at work, and it said the number the number one reason that people leave their jobs mm-hmm. is not necessarily it pay isn't actually the first reason. It's that's like the second. The first one is because they don't feel valued or appreciated at work. And it's interesting because what you guys were saying about how close you guys were, like with the team. I was at one job, there was, uh, when I sold insurance, there was four of us. Well, we were all close, so it was a bunch of us. Mm-hmm. And we literally, like the boss was cool. She was cool, but like, it was something, she was just cheap as hell. Mm-hmm. She didn't pay us enough. And we literally started dropping, like you said, like dropping like flies, but it was cause we were leaving. And we didn't plan, like you were quitting, I'm quitting. It was like somebody found a good job and they left the next one, the next, and we all literally all just left within like three months. But we were always all so close that even to this day, years later, we all are cool. Like we're going to have dinner and stuff. And I think secretly on the low, my boss didn't like that. <laughs> like she was like, why are they so close? And we were all mad cool. And like she didn't, we were the best team that she ever had. Mm-hmm. And she didn't have to do nothing, but just appre- like be appreciative. Like she made it, to, the office is open. It's a fucking snow day. And we're like, are you serious? Yeah. And she wouldn't be there though. Mm-hmm. And one day her dad comes in and he's like, why the hell is this office open? We're like, he's like, it's Christmas Eve and it's fucking snowing. I'm calling her right now because it's one of those things that yep. you said. If you're not going to do it, what makes it, y'all, you in your house warm and toasty with your kids and we came out here on fucking buses and shit. To- so, speaking of snow, Uh-oh. back in like 2017, I think it was like 2017, I had, a, there was like a, a blizzard. Yeah. We had a blizzard and the day before the blizzard, the governor said, all right, state of emergency, stay home, right? The next day, I get up, and I'm like, all right, I got to go to work. So I got in my car, and I'm like, hey, it's Joe. I'm just checking to see if my route is going. They said, no, your route's not going, but we need you to come in. So I came in. They put me on another route like in the little sea caucus area, right? Bro, I'm fucking driving this little shuttle bus. And there's literally no other vehicles on the road <laughs> but snow plows and our buses. That's it. To go nowhere. Like I would see the other, because there's like three buses on that route, I'll see the other bus going by and I'm like, oh, fuck <laughs> to go, go nowhere. <laughs> so, like and I'm like I'm at the Sea Caucus uh train station over there, and I'm like I called dispatch. And I'm like, yo, there's literally like no trains and no transit buses coming. Like, what am I out here for? Can I come back in? No. 
such as like the boss wants us out. I'm like, but who are we picking up? <laughs> oh, in case somebody comes. Nobody's coming. There's no train or bus to bring them. We the only dumbasses out here. So I stayed out there, right? So I, when the route's over, I bring, I started bullshitting. I was like sitting there. I wasn't moving that fucking bus. Where are you going? So like, it's you know, I got to do my route. My, yeah. Whatever. It's like a fucking hamster wheel. Go around, around, around. I wasn't doing that shit. And they wouldn't know. So yeah. <laughs> what? Somebody's going to call and say, hey, somebody's out there. So whatever. I punch out and I'm driving home and I'm coming on Route 3 and I'm driving. Bro, I'm doing probably like 20. I'm slow, right? On on the highway, just going slow because it's, it's snow. It's mad yeah, snow. You have to. But they got, all they got is like one path. Isn't it? Route three is like a three way three yeah. lane, mm-hmm. and there's only one like clean in the middle, lane. One clean lane, right? That's so I'm it. following that clean lane, and there's a point where you come over the little bridge, bro. You know how they say like, be careful on bridges because mm-hmm. it freezes over. Yep. Yeah, there was ice under the snow. My fucking car hit the patch of ice, and my car just started gliding towards the edge. Ooh, and I'm like, oh <laughs> shit! Oh, and I'm trying to pull it the other way. And I go to, and then my car starts sliding the other way, and I'm about to go over the side on that side. Oh, and shit. I just stopped the car just in time. Like, bro, my life flashed. I was scared as shit. Your boss, your job didn't care about your life. So then <laughs> I get home, I'm pissed off, whatever. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck did I just go to work for? Yeah. I didn't pick up no passengers. Risk your life. My route was done. So they brought me in to do another person's route who called out. Yep. Like, we should not have been on a road. Right? Like, this is the company that I'm working for. They didn't give a fuck enough about us to say, you know what, guys? Fuck it. Stay home. We don't want you guys to get in trouble. Yeah, your safety's more important. We, we don't want you guys to be in any danger. Right? right? So this is the same company that I'm working for. And when I, when I started with this company, it was, I told them I'm not available weekends. Right? Like, normally, we did, there's no weekend work. Right? Like, overnights, they do the weekend or whatever. If they had weekend, I don't know about it. I never did it. Because that's what when I came in the company, I said, yo, I'm not available weekends, Monday to Friday. All right, cool. That's what I got hired under. Stayed with that company for two and a half years. I was part time, I went part time because they had a split shift and I couldn't do it. I had a, you know, responsibilities taking care of Jacob. So I went part time mornings. I left the company because they couldn't, because I was part time, they couldn't offer me benefits. And like, not too long before this, I found out I was diabetic. So I was like, yo, I need benefits. Yeah. So they like, oh, we can't do, we don't do part-time. Nobody offers part-time um, benefits. Right. I said, no, nah, that's not true. There's companies that do it. He goes, no, you bring, bring me the companies and let me see. Yo, I went online. I brought them a list of fucking <laughs> like, at least 10 to 15 companies that said, these are all the companies that do it. Dun, 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 dun. And, yeah. just don't want to do it. and he was like, Oh, well, we can't do it. Oh, so why'd you tell me to bring you the list for? Because I brought you the list. Yeah. Just say so, we don't do it. All right. So I left the company, went for like a year and some change. I was gone. But I left on kind of good terms because this is why I left, because you can't offer me benefits. I need the benefits. Okay. Left the company. The next company I went to, they lost the contract with transit. And now 60 people got laid off. So I enjoyed my summer, 2019. And then I went to work. I went back to work for this company. So I've been there since 2019. Still didn't. Now, when I went back, it was, oh, here's this paper. And we have to sign that you have to work a weekend. I said, what is this? I don't, I don't work weekends. What are you talking about? No, I'm not doing that. And I protested it like, nah. I'm not signing that. Because it's a contract. That's a paper you signed. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so this girl, like, she was like new to the company. Like, she got she started there, I guess, after I left, because I never saw her before that. And um, so I'm like, nah, I ain't signing that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't work weekends. You better go ask such and such. <laughs> Matter of fact, go call her because I ain't I ain't signing that paper. Mm. I protested it. I'm not nah. smart. Said. Smart. So such and such comes in and she's like, oh, well, you know, you have to do it. It's mandatory now. I said, no, nah, I'm not signing that. You know, I don't work weekends. 
You know my situation. You know I don't work weekends. I'm not doing it. Oh, well, don't worry about it. Like, just sign it. It'll, you'll be like the very last resort. I'll go through every other driver before I get to you. It probably will never happen. I said, listen, <laughs> I'll sign this paper just to make this process easier. But remember, I'm telling you this. I will not work a weekend. <laughs> So if you put me on a weekend, I'm not going to work it. Remember, I'm telling you this. You're being signing because you're being cooperative. I'm just going to sign this paper to make this process easier so I can get back to work. Yep. I work for you Monday through Friday. Okay, Joe, don't worry about it. It's probably never, it's, like I said, it's never going to happen. There's, there's always drivers here that want to work overtime. We'll get them. Okay, great. Boom. Fast forward. And then a couple weeks ago, about a month and some change ago, I get called into the office and it's like, oh, Joe. And like, she knew my answer. So the energy she came with wasn't like, hey, Joe. It was like, listen, <laughs> the company is making weekends mandatory. And I was like, nah, that's bullshit. I ain't doing it. You know I don't work weekends. Oh, Peter, you signed the paper? Nah, I don't care. Well, you said. <laughs> I, I told you I'll sign that paper just to make the process easier. I wasn't working weekends. I explained that to you. I told you to remember that. Oh, but this is what it is. It's, it's Saturday or Sunday, one, one day out of the weekend, and it's 4.15 in the morning to 9.15 in the morning, or 4.15 in the evening to 9.15 in the who evening. The fuck like, who the fuck want to wake up at 4.15 <laughs> in the morning on Saturday or Sunday? And who the fuck is going to waste their whole, the entirety of their afternoon on a Saturday or Sunday, especially when I don't work weekends? Mm-hmm. When I made that clear five years ago, five and a half years ago. Yeah. Right. And that for five, four and some change of that time, of this time, I've never worked a weekend for them. When I worked with the other company that I left them for, I didn't work weekends. That's a stipulation. I don't work weekends. Well, she said work weekends, really. So, I don't work here. <laughs> so, what the hell? so be it. I left that office. She's like, well, I'm not going to make you choose now, but you know, you're going to have to choose. And I said, <laughs> We'll see. And I walked out. This is Joe Grizzly. Bitch. Word. So a um, couple days later, we had a we had a, a mandatory driver's meeting. And they were talking about, oh, we want everybody to get the COVID shot. We, we, we're, they, didn't, they didn't make it mandatory. They said, you know, we encourage you to get the, the COVID shot, you know, yeah. transportation, this and that. I'm like, hmm. I already made my mind up. I was getting it, right? Because I'm going to DR, so I ain't trying to catch the cooties out there and get stuck out there. <laughs> so, um, all right, whatever. So they're going through this, the, the little topics, and then they get to the weekend thing. And then the big boss, he's talking, and he's like, oh, um, basically this is the way he, 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 he presented it in the meeting. Again, it's the way you talk to people. <laughs> the way he presented it was, it didn't sound mandatory. So he was like, cause we have overnight drivers. He says overnight drivers, we're going to make it so that, you know, if you choose to do it in the morning time, like if you choose a morning shift, you'll do your overnight. We'll give you like a half an hour break paid. And then you'll go out and do the, the, the weekend one and then so okay made it sound cool and he, then he said day drivers we want to in, uh, include you so you can make some extra cash too how does that sound to you like you could only take it if you want to that sounds like money. it's optional right like if oh overtime yeah, like possibility whoever wanted get come it. get it yeah. yeah so you can make extra money <laughs> so yeah. we were on google meeting and there's a little button where you can that raise your hand. Yeah. You can raise your hand. Raise hand. So teacher, teacher. Joe Grizzly hit the button and raised his hand. <laughs> and then he goes, yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. So I said, all right, what if I don't want that money and I'm not available on weekends? <laughs> and he goes, oh, well, see, that's why we're talking about it. And now, mind you, I didn't, I didn't come at him sideways. It wasn't disrespectful. I just clearly said, like, all right, so what if we, like, in, in a respectful tone. I wasn't like, nah, what if I ain't available weekends? Or, right. It wasn't no confrontational shit with me, right? And it was like, I was just asking a question. Because, 
like I said, he made it sound like it was optional. Right. So I was like, all right, what if I'm not, I don't want that extra money. And what if I'm not available weekend? No, well, that's why we're talking about it because, you know, we're kind of making it, man, it's kind of mandatory. We're, we're down drivers. We don't have enough drivers and um, it's, it's a team thing and we need everybody on the team to participate. And, you know, that's just the way it is. And if you don't like it, go find another company. And I'm like, what? And he, oh, he brought up, oh, and you signed the paperwork that said that you would work weekend. Mm. And I was like, well, first and foremost, first and foremost, I signed that paper <laughs> under protest because I didn't want to do it. I was told that it was probably never going to happen. And the only reason I signed it was to make the process easier. That's the reason I signed that paper. No, I don't feel anybody in this company will, will make you sign under the rest. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know your workers. You don't know your manager. Secondly, I said, but how can you, how can you just, I never worked a weekend ever since I worked in this company. How can you just try to like infringe on my personal time? You don't know what I do on the weekends. You know what I mean? Like, like, that's not right. And how you gonna, how you gonna, it doesn't sound right that you sit here going on and on about how we don't have enough drivers, how we gotta, you're trying to hire more drivers, but then you just openly just told me to go find another job. Mm. That sounds kind of productive to me. Yep. And he goes, well, Joe, you know, take it how you want it, but you know, that's what it is. I said, all right, say no more, you got it. He said, but he said it was the tone of voice, right? No, it was the disrespect. Oh, okay. You don't fucking... Now, mind you, this is on a fucking, quote-unquote, like, Zoom or video meeting in front of the whole company. So everybody was on video, too, right? Every fucking driver, every employee in that company, from payroll to management to supervisors to dispatch to drivers, everybody was on that fucking... that, That video call. With the cameras on. With cameras... Well, optional, but they all heard it. Yeah, so they knew it was you. They knew it was me. They knew he was talking to you. Now, it took every fucking ounce of my being to not say, you know what, fuck you and this job. Mm. And your company. Because that's what the old Joe would do. The younger Joe. But this Joe got responsibilities. This Joe got, got a car note. Got rent to pay. So I said, all right. You got it. Say no more. You got it. That's all I said to him. And I turned that fucking meeting off and I went right on Indeed and I started applying. There you go. For another company. <laughs> for, another, for multiple companies. And um, real quick, I got, I saw two jobs that I applied for. Like, that I was like, yeah, I want these two. And the first one, I went, I called the next day. I applied and then I called them the morning the next day and I'm like, yo, um, I applied them. Um, I didn't say yo, but I was like, hey, uh, I applied on Indeed, and I wanted to know if I come in and put an application in person, would it, you know, better my chances? And he was like, oh, let me put you through the guy for the shuttles and blah, blah, blah. Talk to him. He's like, you got a, you got a CDL? I was like, yeah, I got a CDL, Class A. He's like, oh. Class A, dude. I said, yeah, I've been working for this company for about five years. I got experience. I got about six years experience. He goes, oh, you got experience, experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come in. Put application, put the application in, and there was a, there was a hiccup, so I ain't hear from him. And then this past Thursday, another company, the second company, they hit me up, and it was like, "Yo, you saw you applied, come in or call me so we could set up a meeting." Called them, and I was like, "Hey, I got your text, and yeah, I could definitely come in and do an interview." He said, "I said, when do you want me to come in?" He said, "When, when can you?" I said, "I could come today." Oh, okay, uh, come on two o'clock. So fast forward, I, I did everything I had to do that day. And by Tuesday, this past, that was last Thursday. And by this past Tuesday, I was officially hired. Period. And I just did my drug test yesterday and all that shit. So I'm going to pass that, obviously. I don't <laughs> do drugs. I don't hang around with weed smokers. <laughs> weed smokers. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I mean, I wish I could, but... um. <laughs> It would have made this process a lot easier, a lot less stressful, less stressful. 
Um, but yeah, man, like that's the shit. So today I put my, my letter of resignation in and I had a talk with her and I was like, yo, the week, yeah, obviously the weekend shit bothered me, but I would have probably stayed and, 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 and fought about that shit, right? I don't give a fuck. I would have fought it. I would have tried to get my way in. And when it got to a point where I couldn't, I would have probably went. But I, t- I told her the reason I'm leaving is because how that fucking man talked to me. Mm. Don't ever fucking talk to me like that. And then I, and I told her, I said, I've never, ever, since I've been in this company, ever disrespected that man or talked to him any type of way other than respectfully. She goes, you're right. She goes, even me, you never disrespect me. She goes, yeah, you might curse, but you don't curse at me. You're like, you just curse in general when you talk. I'm like, yeah. Like, but she goes, yeah, you, you never, you never been disrespectful to anybody. I was like, exactly. So for him to do that shit in front of the whole company. But you said other people know this too, you said, right? That's what I was getting to. Sorry. I stopped jumping my fucking story. Sorry. Mind your business. You're taking a scenic route. Yeah. Uh-huh. That was cute. That was cute. Oh, get out of here. Oh, shit. That was nice. It was. So, yeah. So, anyway, she was like, um, the crazy thing is, she's like, I know what you're talking about. And the crazy thing is, a couple other people came to me and told me how they, they, didn't, they didn't appreciate the way he, said, he did that. And I didn't know that. Like, that was news to me today. Like, God damn, people notice that shit. You're not crazy. Of course. So yeah, I'm not the fucking crazy one. Right. I mean, but. Yeah, but that, that, that definitely shows you, like, I mean, with your experiences that you had with these people, like, just because you're a leader, just because you're, like, you know, the boss and you have people under you, like, they, there's no need to talk down to people. Like, you don't ever. even have a power trip. Like, that's what it Never, is. Never, ever. really have power trips. Ever. Yeah. Like, like, there's no reason to talk to me like that. It was just like he was trying to make an example of me. Yep. Right. Like all you other people don't speak up because you're going to get the same thing. Yep. But he chose the wrong fucking one. Because all those other people there, they'll give in to that bullshit and they'll take that bullshit. He spoke to the wrong fucking one. I don't. I, yo, I'll be a fucking. Yo, I'll beg on the street before I work for that man again. You know what I mean? And it's not about me being prideful. It's about, yo, if I give you respect, I want I expect respect in return. Right. If you can't do that, I can't right. work for you. That's what I told her. I said, I'm, I'm resigning because I cannot work. I do not respect that man. And I cannot work for him if I don't respect him anymore. Word. Right. I lost every ounce of respect for that man. So, nah, fuck that. So anyways, I got a new fucking job. Congratulations, Joe. I can't wait to start. It's like five Play minutes. Play that from- drop though. <laughs> it, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's literally like five minutes from my house. I get paid more. There we go. Congratulating. Word. New job. Word. Drop that beat, DJ. And 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 um, it, I believe it's full time in the morning now too. So. There you go. Of that part time shit. You get you got the you don't get that health insurance. Yes, I get a health there insurance. There you go. Banging there's health insurance. That's what's up, man. And the health insurance that I'm gonna be getting is the health insurance that the doctor that I like takes. So oh, I look at that. Nice. Look so at that. that's why a couple weeks ago I put up that that shit like uh, what was it? I said uh, stay humble, stay no, stay solid. Hold on. But whatever, I put that shit up a couple weeks ago because of that. And it's true though, like, where is it? Shit. Um, like, yo, you, you just, if you're a solid person, bro, and, you, and you, you respect yourself and you stand your fucking ground, watch God work. Yep. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't do nobody wrong. I don't disrespect people like that. So, Oh, God, I'll see it. That's what I'm saying. Like, that had to happen so you can get something better. Yep. Bro, like, it, it always... Go where every, you're, leave, when you're not valued, go there. Like, why absolutely. Stay? Why stay? Why stay if I'm not fucking valued? If you, if you feel like you could talk to me like that, like, I don't, I'm not worth respect. Uh, uh, the smallest amount of respect. How the fuck do I got to be there? Even if you could have been like, you know what, let's talk about it. 
that, and that's what, and that's what I told her. I said, listen, he could have, if he would have approached it like, listen, Joe, this is the, this is the, the route or the direction that the company is moving in. Um, if, so it is what it is, but if you want to talk about it further, we could set up a meeting. We could talk about it privately. Yeah. That would have been a better route. And then if he would have told me, look, Joe, in the private meeting between me and him, if he would have said, look, this is what we're doing. If you don't like it, you can go find another company. Right. I would have respected that more. Right. Because it's not trying to make an example of me. It's not trying to embarrass me in front of people. Right. Well, maybe try to look stupid, bro. <laughs> like, because I, like I told you, when I was talking about what Pastor Kelly, right, right. he always taught me, we like, yo, in public is respect. You hold that respect. When we get in the office, and you want you say whatever the fuck you want to like he didn't say fuck, but he said whatever you want to you want to curse at me, curse at me. Say what you need to say, you know, get it off your chest. And he's a leader, he's and that's a private. Yeah. yeah. And 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 I'll private me and do that, but in public, hold that respect. Right. And that's how I, I approach shit. You know what I mean? That's how I was taught, that's how I approach it. Yeah. So if he would have told me that shit in the office, that's why when like I said, when she said, Oh, yeah, when when even with me, you curse. Yeah, because when I'm talking to her in our private meeting between me and her, I'm like, I'll curse because that's what talk. it's private. Right. I'm not trying to embarrass her in front of people. I'm not trying to make her look some type of way in front of people. Right. That's just me expressing my feelings and my right. emotions. And she understands that. She don't she don't take that shit some type of way. Because also at the end of the day, Joe, like like you said, that old, what was his name? Dumbass. Yeah, dumbass. We could, we could be in the workplace, but... When when you like you eat, I eat, you bleed, I bleed. Like we're we're just, you know, in a workplace. I'm not lesser than you. You maybe get paid more than me or whatever it may be, but you're still a person. Like, oh, you're not gonna disrespect me. I don't give a fuck right. how much you make. I don't give a fuck. This is your whole company. Look, like, you know, respect. One thing, one thing, like I and I said this shit when I took when I first told y'all what happened, I told y'all this shit. And then I, I firmly believe this shit. Yes, you employ me. You pay me, but you pay me for my services. Right. I'm a driver. You pay me to drive. Right. Because you employ me, you do not fucking own me. Mm -hmm. You are not my master. You are not my, you are, you don't, the only fucking person that has the right to talk to me like that is my mother. And she did. You know what I mean? And I said, he's my fucking boss because I allow him to be my boss. Right. Yeah. Because at any moment I could fucking quit and go find another job. You're not a slave to your job. You know what I mean? And these motherfuckers got a lot of people got that shit twisted. Like, oh, I'm your boss. I can tell you what the fuck I want. No, you can't talk to me how you want to talk to me. You need to maintain a level of respect. Of course. If you don't, I don't got to do that shit. It's a two way street, homeboy. Yeah. Like, nah. That that's that crazy shit. But you know that that thing that that you seen on I seen on uh, um like all social media is like if you die today and you and and you know and they put your obituary up the next thing I'll put up is your is your goddamn job position like yeah just Yo. okay this one we we'll just get somebody else like it's just it's what is it called uh disposable. Listen, man, I learned a long time ago, man. You don't break your back for these fucking companies because. If you once you break your back, they're gonna get somebody else to do the job. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't nope. I'll do I'll do my job to the best of my ability, but I'm not gonna go and break my back, especially for people that don't fucking value me. Yep. Exactly. But you know what, too, when you say that value, and I really I love the, the job that I have now. And it's like even my mom, we were having a conversation. She's like, you know, you don't think we're gonna like go somewhere we get paid more and all this stuff. So I said, you know what, mom, I'm like, I like what I where I work because we're building and I'd like to be part of like the building process, mm -hmm. but I'm just like, and I know, and like, you're, you're trying to like, I'm going to be making that money. I want. I was like, but my boss values me so much. Like we have a respect for each other, you know? And I'm just like, you can't find that everywhere. You, I could get paid more, but then they're going to treat me like a slave. They're mm -hmm. going to be, I don't give a fuck. I'm like the fact that like, I'm, you know, I'm a single mom and she knows I have kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, you need to bring them. That's okay. And, yep. and some, and a lot of places don't do that. And, and, you know, I get it. But that's that's why yeah. I stood with the company so yeah, long. Yo, when, when my mom passed away, I called her. I called my manager and I said, listen, my mom passed. I, you know what I mean? She goes, okay. Yo, for one month, I did not contact the job. I didn't. I didn't call. I, I was grieving hard. Yeah. And I didn't call them. I didn't tell them I was coming back to work. When, whatever, nothing. I got, a, I got, a, I got like a sympathy gift in the mail for my family. 
they they sent me bereavement pay. I didn't even apply for it. They just sent it to me. Like they get they took care of me. Right. Right. So I valued that. I appreciated them for that. I felt like, you know what? God put me in his job for a reason because not many jobs would do that shit. Right. Yeah. They took the time to actually give, give a shit about me and my situation. So yeah, there were there were little bumps here down the road with them. And there was a point in time where I wanted to leave, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna stick it out with them. Cause they 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 were there for me when I needed them. Yeah. But this shit erased all that shit. <laughs> You're not gonna talk disrespectful like that to me. But you know, yeah. you know what? When we when you told us before, um, you said the type of you know drivers and stuff that they have, like some people, a lot of people, especially now that you know people are trying to find work and this whole COVID thing, people be like, Oh, you have the job, you need to, you know, you can't nope. go, you can't go anywhere, or you know, it's just a lot of situations where people like need work. So I'm not gonna say that's a reason why he said it, but it's kind of like well, people feel like you need this job more than I need you here, type of thing. You no, know? the fuck, I don't. But they got, they got the wrong. That's one. never the case. Never the case. There's always money to be made. You just gotta hustle. That's yeah. it. Because at the end of the day, if there was another, there was not another job that would hire me, my ass would have been fucking doing Uber Eats. Figure I'd have out. fucking been delivering pizza. I'd have been doing something. Yep, that's how yeah. when 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 the recession was here. What I ain't too, I ain't too proud for no yep. fucking job. In 09, I graduated college and I was like, they no, there was no jobs. It was a recession. My I was mom, like, shit, I did temp work. I said temping, I'm temping everywhere. Listen, my mother always taught yep. me. My mother always said to me, and, and it sticks with me forever. Half a loaf of bread is better than no loaf of bread. Right. So take what you can get right now and work towards that, that full loaf. But you yeah. know what, too, Joe? Thankfully, you know, the years that they had that they had, you got your experience. That's that's, that's another, fun. that's another no, that's thing. That's another like a but I work for other companies the, too. So yeah. Fuck them in the experience. Fuck you your experience. <laughs> you could shove your experience up your ass. Okay, but yeah, you know, that definitely says a lot about um, you know, leadership. And you know, sometimes when we have bad leadership, we're like, I know what I'm not gonna do. You know, if let's say you ever wanted to be in that position, not that position, or if you would, but if you ever were to be like, okay, it's time for you to manage, and so you're like, I know what not to do. I'm not gonna treat my people you know, like this. Like, I know yeah. a lot of people that, you know, they've had bad bosses. They're like, I'm not going to do that because... Uh, that, that's all well and good until you're in that leadership right. position. Mm -hmm. Well, like Joe because, said, you know you don't like being spoken to like that. You're not going to... We're not going to talk to people like that. If, you know, I'm not right. going to talk to you like that because I'm, you know, I, I mean, don't like Me that. personally, but I've always been the type of dude, like, I, I think I said this before, like, I'm going to give the energy you give me. Right. You know what I mean? If you come at me chill and humble, you're gonna get that back. Right. You you come at me with this, chest this out. haughty <laughs> fucking vibe, like you you the shit. <laughs> nah, fuck you. Word. I don't I don't I don't respond well to that. Don't talk to me like you're higher than me. You are not you a person just like me. Right. Yep. We believe the same fucking color blood. What they, what they say also, um, that I've heard a saying like you greet the greet the like the garbage man or greet, greet the, the door greeter like you would the CEO. Like you gotta say how to, you know. Yeah. The just, janitor. The you janitor. Treat the janitor the same way you treat the CEO. Yeah. And I'm like, that's that that says a lot because And it, I was a janitor before too. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. But um, yeah, I'm just like, you know what? It, it's 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 true. Or like, you know, you've seen scenarios where it's like, um, somebody will treat somebody like a piece of shit years later that person now you're looking for a job and that person is the one that's you know the one you treated like shit is now the one trying to you going to them for work so it's like you know life has this funny way of slapping you in the face <laughs> you just you just lose good workers that's you know when you're a poor leader or in the workplace you yeah. you lose valuable cogs in your team right it's just a matter of you got to learn how to how to how to treat people right yeah. you you can still um maintain that authority and still treat people with respect right right you just gotta that's all you have to do yeah you want the most out of your employee you got to treat them properly with respect but you can still i right, there's, there's a time for fun and games but then it's time to work yeah, that's how I was, and that's job. how yep. that's how A was. Yep, A was bro. Like, 
he could be like, all right, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. But at the end of the day, when it's more chill, he's like, yo, he'll get one of the mail buckets. He'll put it over there. We had a little basketball. We betting for dollars. All right, who can make the most shots? Like fun shit like that. So yeah. it was an even balance right. with him. But dumbass just had to fuck everything up. Yeah. He just, I think like it was so much in his personal life. Like I remember he used to talk shit like how his father used to be and all of this. Um, so I think he had a lot of fucking daddy issues. Yeah. Well, that you know was I mean? his place he could put his foot down. And, and yeah, he, I think he couldn't, he didn't feel like he was man enough to say something to his father. So he took it out on us. Oof. Fucking pussy. Yeah. Almost got his ass knocked out a couple times because I was going to put hands on him. <laughs> but yeah, like that's, that's super important. And like I said, even at work, we'll, there's a time to this and a time to that. Mm -hmm. like my boss will be like, okay, let's, we either going to talk, you know, talk our shit in the beginning of the day, very, very early, or we do it at the end of the day. You know, like, oh, that's, okay, whatever. We're done. What's up? And you know, just because you have to have that balance because bosses are humans too. <laughs> and, Some of them. You try to think, yeah. Some of them. Yeah, we all go home after we leave here. We all just trying to make but it once through the day. once they talk to me, this is what I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we all just trying to make it through the day, make some money and go home. The fuck? <laughs> Yeah, well, part of any good team is knowing the value of all your parts. Right. Or, you know what I'm saying? The minute you forget that, that's when shit crumbles. Yep. And yeah, and even with that, like I don't mind being a team player. I thought it was like look, because the way of your value so much. I'm like, you want me to be your assistant to fucking make coffee? Like I'll do whatever because it's like it's appreciated. You know what? Oh, this is about a team, and whatever you need me to do, I'm gonna do it. And I don't feel lesser than I'll be your assistant. I'll be whoever. Because that's the way you treat me, and I'm going to do for you because I know you do for me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck those people. Yeah, man. Whatever, man. I'm just happy. I got a job. Now, congratulations. I'm happy for you, man. You got your, when they going to give you your uniform? I don't know yet. Well, I, I, I got the job. I, I, I made sure I got the fucking job. <laughs> I told my man the day when I was say talking. It, say the words. Like, he was like, "Oh, so yeah." You know. Say the words. He's like, "I got the abstract, checking everything over." I, all right, so to go, like, he's like, "I'm gonna start inputting out all your information in the system. Go get the drug test." You're like, "What that mean?" I said, "All right, hold on." So <laughs> let me let me clarify. Does this mean I got hired? He goes, "Yeah, man, you're hired. Welcome to the team." I said. Thank you very much. Say the words. Say it. <laughs> I'm going to quit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's very gratifying, though. When you <sighs> quit a shitty job. Yo, and I it's, and go, it's yo, close yo, to no, you. No, 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 listen. <laughs> Today, because I knew I was going to do it, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> woke up real nice. I woke up on time, but I took my, I took a nice long shower, got in the car. I was supposed to be to work at 6.30 today. It's like 627 when I left my house. <laughs> and then I fucking I dispatch called me. He's like, Joe, where you at? I'm like, um, I'm supposed to be there 640, right? He's like, no, 630. I'm like, oh shit, bro. Like, damn. He's like, oh, how long? I'm like, eh, like 10 minutes. <laughs> Took like 17 minutes. <laughs> got there. Got in the then I went in and when I got in the bus. Before I started my route, I went to fuck a quick check, got some food. I'm not supposed to be eating while I'm driving. <laughs> I'm sitting there eating a fucking breakfast burrito, driving the bus. Because <laughs> what you gonna say? Because what you gonna do? Looking in the camera like, <laughs> like <laughs> I was extra today. I don't give a fuck. I, yo, I felt like, what they gonna do? Fire me? Man, I'm quitting. Do me the favor. Yeah, word, <laughs> right? Like, it is what it is, man. Like, like you said. The weight was off my shoulders, bro. It was it was killing me that I had to go to work for this fucking douchebag that I didn't respect no more. Yep. So it's it's done. I'm gone. Tomorrow I'll go in tomorrow, last day, and I'll probably be late again. <laughs> Your last day. Fuck <laughs> y'all. I might I might be super early just to fuck with him. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be here five twenty five. <laughs> Gonna be Tom Petty tomorrow. Super Petty. <laughs> I told you well. <laughs> well yeah, man. Um, shit. But it goes out to all them companies, man. You hire some good leadership. Respect your fucking employees. Word. And they'll get this shit slapped out of yourself. 
<laughs> At the end of the day, these companies worried about the bottom line, right? The money. Mm-hmm. The money. Word. So these bad leaders, they fuck with the money at the end of the day. Word up. So you're going to fix something that's not broken, like in that mailroom uh, example. Mm-hmm. You brought somebody else in, fucked up the dynamic, the productivity, mm-hmm. everything else. Yep. So it's like, at the end of the day, a happy workplace, a, a valued uh, employee is just going to push that shit all the way to the top. That's why the the number one companies, they have like all these outside the box shit. Yeah. Like no, you no, have no like a suits. wellness yeah. day. Like they'll give you a day off just for your mental Banging health. Banging kitchens. And- I need that. Like free lunches. I've been to Zillow. Zillow's kitchen is fucking dope. They have some, like, all right. All right. We don't, well, <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> Nah, but at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying is that a good company or a good boss is going to take care of you. Period. Not just monetarily, but you going to want to feel good when you walk through them doors. Straight up, bro. Like, if I got to spend the majority of my day there, like... Let's make it a good one. Make it welcoming. Make, make me feel good. Yeah. What the fuck? That, that, that's one of the worst feelings, bro. Bro, like, look, look, at, look at your... Yo, they get like two hour lunch breaks. You could go home for your lunch break. Yeah. Yo, starting, you get like fucking six weeks fucking vacation. Yep. Starting. You ain't got to work up to that shit. Like. Everything's more relaxed. I don't even think they work five days a week. Some work four. Yeah. Like, come on, man. And then like Spain got the siestas. They they over fucking work you and underpay you here. Yeah. And then they think they could talk to you however the fuck you, you, how they want. Yeah. yeah, they think just because you you sign a contract that it's like, oh yeah, now I own you. No, that you gonna do whatever the fuck I tell you to do. The fuck I am. Nah, that ain't that ain't <laughs> how it works out here. Nope. The wrong motherfuckers. Especially not over here. I'm liable to punch you in your mouth before I fucking listen to it. Tell me. <laughs> nah, but the moral of the story is that you knew your worth. Word. And a lot of people that are listening and watching. You got to do the same thing. Know your worth, people. Know your worth in the workplace. And know our worth. Subscribe, like, and comment (laughs) below. Word. (laughs) Send Uh, some money. (laughs) And subscribe on all the fucking audio platforms. Everything. We got a lot of them. Subscribe on everything, please. Please. Everything. Everything. Everything, everywhere. Share us. This is a click. Share us with your friends. Mm -hmm. If you like the show, if you watch the show, just share us with a friend. Like, yo, listen to what they say. And thank you for everybody who listens already. Tell them to comment below. Yep. Absolutely. But yeah, follow follow us on Instagram. It's going to be up here somewhere. Like, comment, subscribe, all that over here. It's that money. It's over there too. You know how I do. But yeah, that's part of the podcast. Peace out, homies. I didn't want to say. I just wanted to. So be wild, <laughs> fucking extra. Like she takes a lot of cool factor away from us. Yeah. A like lot. you, like you be over there on some smooth operator shit, and that shit right there just made the whole show. Well, I, mean, I gotta go to the. I gotta go to the next job. So I'm nice. You be. <laughs>